I am swimming in this gown. Swim, 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 swim. Keep on swimming. What's the song? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim, swim. Guys, this is like a weird angle, but I'm in my car. Just got out of the doctor's office. This is the news. And the news is, it's cancer. So, um, okay. As of now, what what's happening is we checked it. We know it's cancer. Um, now we had to check to see if it was still the same type of cancer. Like, um, sorry, am I shaking? Uh, if it's, um, my brain's not working either. Okay. We had to test to make sure it wasn't, um, the her hormone status didn't change. Uh, so we tested for... HER2 and the ERPR. The ERPR is negative, which is what it was before. And the last, it was HER2 positive previous. We're still waiting on the HER2 positive results. Um, those usually take an extra couple days and people who have breast cancer know that that takes the longest um, to find out the HER2 status. Um, we're thinking that it's the same HER2 positive as well. Um, so what she recommends is this i don't know if you it's backwards for you but i don't know how to say it hype okay hyperthermia therapy it's a type of radiation um i guess and they only do it at main campus in cleveland so um okay for many pants pantser Cancer, pepe, can't talk. For many cancer patients who experience a recurrence, the prognosis is bleak. A second full course of radiation therapy usually is not possible due to the high risk of damage to the healthy tissue. Well, we already know I ain't got no healthy tissue there. Clinical evidence suggests that hyperthermia can, okay? In some cases, allow radiation to be delivered a second time with greater effect on cancer cells without creating greater complications than radiation alone. While hyperthermia, hyper, yeah, whatever, can be used in combination with other therapies to treat primary tumors, the ability to increase the effectiveness of radiation on retreatment offers new hope for patient with recurrent cancers. That was a mouthful. Okay, so next we see Dr. Haddad, my oncologist, next week. Um, next Wednesday I see him. And then on Thursday, which I was supposed to do yesterday, I guess I really should have done that yesterday. I'm freaking dumb. But um, I rescheduled my scans because I hate doing it by myself and I didn't want to go. Um, so, so now my scans are on February 6th. Um, so my husband's going to be able to go with me and he'll be able to go with me to chemo the day before. So um, yeah, and actually chemo the day before might not happen now that this is um, the outcome because we might have to change the chemotherapy. I, I, actually, I already know. We're gonna have to change the chemo um, to, to retreat this because it's just not, it's very feisty and it doesn't wanna go away. So um, there it is. Um, I will talk to you guys later. I am gonna go stop at my mother-in-law's hair shop and just pop in for a second to say hi and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go home and get my kids. So...
talk to you guys later.